and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super annoyed because as you can maybe hear, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there's some construction going on and my whole house is shaking right now. I wanted to film this video in the bedroom. The noise there is so much worse, so I closed all the doors. So I hope you can't hear it really well. I can't do anything about it, so I just have to roll with it. Um, I'm sitting now in my living room and I'm going to show you guys um, how I created my wedding makeup look. I did my makeup myself for my wedding day. Um, I got married in 2016 like official but our wedding party was in 2017 and that time I couldn't find any good makeup artist here in Marmaris or maybe it was just not my taste let's put it that way and um, because a lot of Turkish girls they like uh, really dramatic makeup and I wanted something very natural so I thought why not do it myself I know my face really well I do my makeup all the time so a lot of products I used on my wedding day um, I still know but some products I don't remember like my foundation I'm not really sure which which one I used um, but yes, I'm going to show you it anyway. So yeah, if you're excited for this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I make a lot of beauty related videos, fashion and vlogs uh, here in Turkey. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. So I wanted to mention very quickly that I'm on Like to Know It now. If you're not familiar with Like to Know It, Like to Know It is a app that you can shop uh, through. So there's a lot of influencers on there and for example the products I use now I will link them all there so you can shop through my links and you're also helping me out that way So yeah, if you are on like to know it go follow me my pretty everything and I will link it somewhere down here So yeah, you can give me a follow and I also will try to link all of the products that I use in this video down below um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so obviously I used a foundation on my wedding day, but I currently don't have a foundation. I always wear my BB cream, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, the foundation I did use um, was, I believe, the L'Oreal one or the Maybelline one. And I'm not really sure which one I used. Um, I will look through my photos, maybe if I can see it on there. But yeah, for now I'm going to use my BB cream, I'm sorry, but this is the only thing I have right now. And also for a base I used my MAC uh, Prep and Prime uh, Fix Plus. I used this before I apply my makeup and also after. And if you are going to do your makeup for your own wedding day, I would recommend using a foundation without a SPF in it. Because a, a foundation with a SPF in it can become really ugly on camera. So that's something that I want to mention. And I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. In Turkey there's always something. And if you are going to do your own makeup, I would also recommend um, that you go test it out first. So apply all of the products and look how it looks during the day because obviously if you have like a photo shoot during the day and a party in the evening you want your makeup to last. So look what products work for your skin so it will last all day. And this BB cream doesn't give me a lot of coverage but yeah I used a foundation normal. So um, for my uh, concealer I used this Catrice uh, Camouflage uh, Concealer. And this in the color 10 porcelain. So this color matches my skin quite nicely. But if I would do my makeup today, I would use this one. Because it's a little bit lighter. And I prefer that uh, right now. But yeah, for my wedding day, I use this one. The Camouflage from Catrice. So I first went um, to the hairdresser. And I wanted a very classic hairstyle and like I said also very minimal makeup So I went for a low bun and I will insert some pictures now and I'm still really happy with it It turned out really beautifully. The only thing that was very dramatic was to get it out in the evening because uh, my bun was very big and um, It looks like there's like a little sponge or something underneath, but it was all my but it was my own hair, so it was all tangled up and my husband needed to help me because it was so hard to get it all out. But yeah, it stayed all day and I would really recommend uh, to wear your hair up because it's very 
breezy although i know a lot of brides nowadays wear uh, their hair like in curls or like a soft wave which is also very beautiful but i was happy with my decision to wear my hair up and you can also use your concealer as a base for the eyeshadow or you can use like an eyeshadow base then for bronzer i use the soleil ten de chanel uh, because cream products usually last longer so that's why i use this one it's a quite expensive product but i believe you have a lot of great dupes nowadays i believe revolution and some of the other um, high street brands got them but i have to say it's a very beautiful product it's expensive but it's very beautiful and it lasts all day and as you can see it's a very beautiful color i'm quite pale but this still works for me as you can see this bb cream has a very light coverage but my foundation was also not really full coverage because you see uh, you saw still my freckles and i'm a little bit shiny because it's very hot so that's why um but on my wedding day i also used a powder from chanel um because this is just one of the best powders out there this is the uh natural finish loose powder and it's in the color 20 clear translucent and yeah this lasts again all day i applied it a few times during the day just to touch it up a bit and we married in march so it was already quite hot here but not too hot it was like the perfect temperature then i'm just going in with my brush just put some powder in here And on your wedding day and especially in pictures you don't want to be shiny so a good powder is um, needed and if it does look a bit powdery and um, that's totally fine because later i go use my fix plus again to make it a little bit more dewy so don't worry about applying too much powder because yeah like i said you need it then on top i'm using a shimmer brick and i love a shimmer brick because it's like a blush and bronzer in one and it makes your skin very glowy um so i'm using this one from max and more uh, this is from the netherlands i'm not sure if they also sell it in other counties it's from the action i believe and this is a dupe for the uh, Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use my all-time favorite highlighter. And this is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And this is just the most beautiful um, champagne color. Very, very beautiful. This gives you a really nice glow. I absolutely love this highlighter because it gives you a really nice glow. I love it. So then on to my eyes, um, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade for my eyebrows. And again, this is an amazing product if you want your makeup to stay perfect all day. And um, I used the color Blonde. And I think this is the perfect color for blondes because it's very natural, but still you can see clearly a difference. Then for eyeshadow, I used um, this Morphe palette and this is the 35F palette and this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow palette, look at that. I love these colors so much. These ones right here are all mattes and all of these are shimmers and I think this is perfect for like everyday looks and for bridal um, uh, eyeshadow. So I first went in this color for my crease. then I went into these two colors right here um, I focus a little bit more on the outer corner of my eye and also this one brings in some warmth and then this color right here I apply in my inner corner and underneath my eyebrow then this shimmery shade I'm going to apply uh, on my eyelids and with this color i make a base for the glitter i'm going to apply now so on my eyelid i used a mac pigment 
and this is called whisper pink and i wanted something very like glittery and i think also on photos it looks really nice if you have some like glittery um, eyes so i use this mac pigments and you can use a flat brush and you can spray some fix plus on it so the glitter sticks to your eyes so i just applied a little bit like this look how nice oh i love this color it's a very soft pink with like lots of shimmers i didn't apply any eyeliner but i used the matte color in here and i just applied like a little bit just to define my lash line a little bit more a few days before my wedding i went to a lady who applied some lash extensions is that how you call them and um, I really love them. I will into the picture. They were very like light, but still there. Um, so if you don't want to stress about false lashes, I would really recommend applying some um, lash extensions. So you don't have to worry about that. But because I don't have any on right now, I'm just going to apply some mascara. And I'm using the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I didn't apply any um, mascara underneath my eyes because I didn't want anything to smudge during the day. So I just applied it on uh, my top lashes. Although I had less extensions, I still applied just a tiny bit of mascara because it makes them just a little bit more um, there. So then for my lips, I used this combo and this MAC lipstick in the color Mare with my favorite uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. So yeah, I used this combination. And as you can see, this is a very nice nude color. I think it's a very pretty color for a bride. But because I want some gloss on my lips, I always go over with a lip gloss. And I think together they look very pretty. So yes, this was my wedding makeup. Um, if you like to see a story time about my Turkish wedding, I will link it somewhere up here so you can check it out now. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really helped my channel with that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!